Boxy Boo has arrived. And that's what his jump scare is gonna look like when you get caught by him in Project Playtime. And if you don't know, the new Project Playtime cinematic trailer has just been released. So if you haven't seen that, go watch it and then come back here because here's 10 details you missed in the Project Playtime trailer. Starting off at number one, the poppy is a camera. Throughout the Project Playtime ARG, we've seen the poppy in the background of photos when you turn up the brightness and contrast, usually followed by the text, I see you. And now we've finally seen where that poppy appears on the chest of the players within Project Playtime. My theory is that the players within this job have cameras attached to them as a form of communication maybe, or maybe because they're trying to actually record everything that's happening within the facility. And rather than the message I see you being from the monsters, it could be from the people that are trying to clean up the mess made by the monsters. But we'll find out more about that one next. Second is the toy machine deposit. I'm gonna go through these details in a chronological order. I know it's kind of late in the video to be telling you that, but it'll make sense later when I come back to this one. But in the first instance of the video, we can tell that the people going around the facility have a task in mind. They're collecting pieces of the toys and then depositing them in these boxes. This will definitely inform one of the tasks we do within the game. But I'll get into that one later in the video because I've got more info about it. Number three, we've got Timeline. Based on the fact that you can see Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Longlegs not destroyed based on how we dealt with them in Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, but the toy factory is still in disarray. Therefore, this game kind of feels like a bit of a prequel. Not sure on the exact year that this game would have happened, but it definitely seems to be before the occurrences of chapter 1 and 2. Also based on the fact that the train seems to be working, this might be a time closer to the toy factory actually being functional and working as well. As we know in chapter 2, the train doesn't work so easily anymore. Now on to detail number 4, the amount of players. Again, this is one that I'll come back to, but you can see in the trailer that there's four people searching the factory. Someone in green, red, blue, and yellow. And this aligns with the fact that mob games have been telling us that this is going to be a multiplayer game. But the cinematic trailer isn't an accurate a reflection of how many multiplayers are actually going to be able to play. I don't even know if that sentence made sense, but I can tell you now that it's going to be seven. But again, we'll come back to this one. Okay, now it's time for the big details. Detail number five. The little toys are alive. Now, this is an interesting topic because we've seen these little toys throughout chapter one, throughout chapter two, and throughout all of the teaser trailers at some point, even the chapter three teaser trailer. But something we have never seen is the little toys actually being alive. As you can see with the little huggy wuggy that freaks out when the player picks him up, to the point where the player gets so freaked out that he has a stamp on his face until he kills it. Kinda gruesome, but hey, he might deserve it, you know? Anyway, I found this detail to be kinda creepy because, like I said before, it is the first time, but it's not the first time we've seen them. Throughout chapter one, you're surrounded by them. Does this mean that whole time they were alive, watching us? In chapter one, there are some mysterious mini huggy wuggies. They're boxed up, but they're all in different positions. One with black dark eyes, and one open like a huggy wuggy escaped. It was an unconfirmed theory, but I guess we can confirm it now. The little huggy wuggies are alive as well. It's not just the humanoid big ones. And they seem to be aggressive as well. I theorize that we might have to face mini monsters as well within Project Playtime. Maybe. Or it might just be something that they're preparing to do in Chapter 3. Regardless, this is a completely new monster mechanic that we haven't seen before. And it can make things really scary. Okay, time for detail number 6 and this one's gonna blow your mind. They've released a whole new trailer that wasn't even on their YouTube channel. It's on the Steam page and is a gameplay trailer. This one gives so much detail and that's why I said I'm going to come back to the original points I made because a lot of them have some more information that help make the point. So for this one, you have to go to the Steam page and watch the second trailer. There are also some nice screenshots which give you some detailed information, but the gameplay trailer starts off with Leith Pierre giving you a rundown of your job, which is basically what you're going to be doing within the game. We are known as resource extraction specialists and our primary job is to collect giant toy parts to make a giant toy, to which we have to put that giant toy on the train and then we have to leave. Sounds simple, right? Well, you're wrong, because you're gonna die. Anyway, this goes back to point number two, where we could see the player picking up toy pieces and putting in a toy deposit box, because that's the aim of the game. They weren't just doing some random cleanup. That's the mechanic within Project Playtime. But something mysterious we've seen within the ARG and on the Steam page is this message. The bigger bodies initiative will fail. What do you think that means? It kind of sounds like a reference towards the bigger bodies of the toy monsters. I guess if our job is to extract the bigger toys, then are we the ones that are trying 
trying to make the bigger body initiative fail because the mysterious messages are also followed by we will prevail stay alert we will be in touch this doesn't really align with the mysterious messaging we've seen in the past this kind of feels like a third party entity maybe us the extraction specialists don't actually work for playtime co maybe we're a subcontractor we're the ones that are really trying to clean up the mess are we trying to stop playtime co's bigger body initiative i'm not sure but i feel like there's something there but what else do we see within this gameplay trailer we can see six little players running together i know before i said seven so who's the seven you probably figured it out by now and that also takes us to detail number seven you are the seventh player the monster so this game is definitely going to be following a dead by daylight style where you also play the antagonist as well as the protagonists i'm telling you guys right now i'm going to be the rank number one boxy boo in all of the world i'm going to kill every single player with all of his abilities and what's evidently clear is that you also get to play as huggy wuggy or mommy long legs now i'm not 100 percent sure whether you can play as multiple monsters against multiple players or whether you can play as maybe one or two players against the monster but i think that'll be pretty cool i would love to see someone mm, like myself solo the actual game but that might not be able to happen because it takes me on to point number eight the gameplay trailer makes it clear that there are going to be new mini games and based on the screenshot is going to be clear that you're going to require cooperation between the multiple players so maybe you can't solo this game i'm not 100 percent sure whether this will just give you a toy part or it might give you some of the in-game currency that we've been hearing about which is called toy tickets and it seems as though from the description on steam that you can use it to get upgrades and other little things but back to the mini games but upon further inspection it does also look like these mini game modules have a different mini game on every single face i'm starting to theorize that you have to use the grab pack hand to initialize the game followed by something like maybe musical memory or playing the piano it looks like so if that's the case i'm gonna solo this damn game now on to detail number nine the battle pass listen to this description on the steam page project playtime offers a rotating shop with new cosmetics constantly and a seasonal toy box which offers 100 levels of cosmetic glory sounds like a battle pass to me and based on the sheer amount of skins that we've seen in the gameplay trailer alone mob games might think that a battle pass might be the only way to incentivize getting all of these skins but i'm not gonna lie these skins do look kind of cool i mean look at this huggy wuggy skin imagine getting chased by huggy wuggy while looking like huggy wuggy while many huggies are watching you as well you can also see skins for the grab pack hands i mean look at this one it looks like a present and the coolest one so far the golden grab pack hands it looks like golden guns from overwatch maybe they're gonna be something special that you get at the end of the battle pass man i'm sold you got me i'm gonna finish this battle pass as quickly as possible anyway that takes me on to the final detail the mechanics you get as you play as the monster what seems to be very evident is that you get some really cool abilities as the monster have you ever wondered what it looks like when mommy longlegs is looking at you from high above well now you're gonna get to see it yourself because she has the ability to climb and it seems as though the other characters have their own special abilities as well in the steam description they refer to huggy wuggy as the manic huggy wuggy brute the quick and nimble mommy longlegs or the springy hunter boxy but some of the other cool mechanics that remind me of dead by daylight are like the footsteps which you can clearly see in the gameplay trailer trailing behind the players as they run away from you also you can see the silhouette of the mini games which must mean that they're quite important aspects of the game so maybe they do just release the toy parts because as described by Lath pierre that's the only way for the player to win so the monster must protect them at all costs and then at the bottom right we can also see that they have abilities looks like this eye can mean mommy longlegs can maybe turn the lights off or go dark and invisible so that she can get the jump on you and a web ability which might trap you it's clear huggy wuggy has a hug attack but i'm not sure what the smile one means maybe he'll just smile at you until you die i don't know how that works and boxy boo has a scratch attack and a hand attack which seems like it can jump out and get you i, I don't i don't even know man let's just wait for the game to come out i don't know <laughs> but anyway i hope that makes you hype if you want theories subscribe to eroga because i'm gonna make shorts and long form videos about it but if you want to see my playthrough go to eroza linked below and on my channel it's my let's play channel where i conquer the world goodbye